Welcome back to Smart Glitch Gaming. On this video on Assassin's Creed Valhalla, we're going to show you how to get the good catch trophy for catching all the fishes. What we're going to do is I'm going to show you the location, I'm going to show you proof of each catch and tips and tricks along the way to help you get this no matter what level you're at. So stay tuned, it's coming after this. So the very first location where you come to is actually your home base in Ravensthorpe. So you can actually catch quite a few fish here. So upon landing at your base, just at the main dock here, we'll choose our fishing line. If you haven't got a fishing line yet at your base, you can level up um, your fishing hut and then that gives you a fishing rod to complete all the challenges here. Now on number one, everything's going to be time stamped in the description below just to make it easier if you're one or two fish short on this one here we're going to be catching the brown trout so the idea behind this is you can throw your line into the water and then when you snag a fish you pull to the opposite direction of where the fish is swimming and you reel him in very very slowly if the line becomes red you just simply stop and continue again once it's gone back to the normal color so that's perfect that's fish number one Fish number two in exactly the same location is the haddock. So you can just be at your base at the same time on the same jetty, throw your line in and you can catch this one quite easily. Also, the river was actually breathing with them so it was quite an easy find for me to do. Fish number three, the bullhead. The bullhead is in the similar location, exactly the same location where you are just across the river from your settlement. Uh, quick tip with the bullhead, if you collect five of them, there is a shrine very close by to where you're located right now that um, will give you a skill point. So collect five before you move on until so you can accept that. Fish number four, the perch. And it is in the same location just across the river from your camp. You can see these. If you use your Odin eye, you can have a look at the shadow of the uh, fish and you can work out which one's which. Fish number five, the elusive cod. The best fish in Britain this is. We love it with a bit of chips. So let's reel this bad boy in. And yep, you're going on the barbie tonight, mate. Perfect. Fish number six, the eel. Now, a quick tip, in a lot of, not a lot of people know that you can actually use a spear or a bow and arrow to collect these fish. Uh, the purpose is that when you read the description of the achievements, it, won't, it doesn't say that you can get them. You have to catch them with a rod. That's nonsense. You can do it this way as well. Now, fast travel to the Essex area that you can see on my map just here. And you can run along to the beach front. Upon arriving in the beach front, we're going to find fish number seven, which is the flathead fish. Very, very distinctive looking fish in the water. So as soon as you use your Odin eye, you can see it. You can see exactly which one it is. Very easy to spot. And again, the water is brimming with them. In the same location, it's fish number eight. It's the burbot. So you just throw in your line and you can catch this bad boy. There you go. Look at the small, but it still counts for the achievement. It doesn't really matter. Fish number nine, the grey trout. Now these are everywhere and I caught one in exactly the same location. Quick tip, if any of these fish aren't in the location that, um, that I'm joining now, just meditate and they should be there. Our next location on the map, if you come to Essex and you go down to the port, you can see there, and this is fish number 10, the Pollock. As soon as you arrive at the port, there is a jetty right in front of you that you can easily just cast your line into. While casting your line into, you can just pull this one out. Awesome. Then we're going to go to Lincolnshire. So if I zoom out and then zoom back in, you can see exactly where I am by the lake. And this is fish number 11, the salmon. 
It's probably one of my favourite, most delicious fishes in the entire world. So all we, there's, there's a little lake here, absolutely millions of them. Just throw your line in and you'll pull one out, no problem at all. Yum, yum. And if you come to Lincolnshire, and if I zoom in, and you can come, there's another port here. Upon getting to the jetty, as soon as you fast travel in, you can throw your Odin's eye out, and you can see exactly where the fish are as per normal. And this brings us to fish number 12. Fish number 12 is the shad. Come on, take a little bite. Take a little bite of it. And there we go. And we just reel this little tiny little fella in. Hardly a snack. But that's still worth it for the achievements. And now we're going to fast travel to Scent. And you can see on the map where we are here. I zoom out. And then I'll zoom in for you. So you want to come to the beachfront just at this location. And this brings us to fish number 13, the sturgeon. So once you cast your line in here, I did have to meditate for this one and make it nighttime. I'm not sure if that's just on my game or on everybody's, but it could actually help your odds. Who knows? So we've caught the sturgeon. Now you want to fast travel back to Lincolnshire and come to this location on the map here on the beach. Now, once we throw in our line, we should be on fish number 14, which is the halbert. Quick piece of advice. Do not use your longboat when going across any of these, because it does tend to scare the fish from. Try to run on land or use your horse, if at all possible. And the next location we're going to come to is Hamptonshire. Hamptonshire, just on the island, just down here, right at the port. And this brings us to fish number 15, the bream. So once we throw the line in here, this was by far the easiest location of all that it says uh, the way you can catch this bad boy. There you are. Get in my pocket. So many fish in my pocket. It must be absolutely stinking. And then we fast travel to Norway to get the last remaining fish. So if I show you on the map here, so there is a port, so just so you can see exactly where I am, and we fast travel directly to this port. Once here, you're on the jetty itself, you can throw it in, and it brings us to fish number 16, which is the mackerel. Upon throwing in your line, this one's, there's so many of them here, it's quite an easy catch for you guys out there. And that brings us up to fish number 17. And the reason why I'm jumping on my boat over here is just I couldn't reach it with my line. And you can actually shoot it again with your arrows as we did previously, and it does count. But be warned in Norway, the water is mighty cold, and you'll see the edges of your screen start freezing up. So we've collected that, and boom, there's the redfish in our collection. So let's move on to fish number 18, which is the hake. So it's in the same location, I just jumped on someone's boat and, and jumped on my boat and then threw it in, threw the line in and there he is straight away. Same location. And in Norway again, if you come to your map and you can see on the location here, if I just zoom in, we're coming to the beachfront here. So upon coming here, you are literally on the beachfront, you just throw your line in and you have this bad boy in front of you that we're just going to wheel in. Come on, come on little fella, come on, you're our last little fishy for the achievement. And this is your last, very last fish that you can get for your achievements. So that's it from Smart Glitch Gaming. Well, peace out and GG. Don't forget you can support this channel in multiple ways. But as times are hard, please just drop a like and subscribe. And much love to all of you. Bye bye. GG.